Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey you guys, I just got back from fishing with Julio this morning. Had an absolute bell ass man. We got on a hot bite. It was like every cast we were catching fish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, man. What the heck? I didn't think mine was that big when I hooked him. Doubling up, baby. Doubling up. You looking for an easy release? Cool, oh, man. Look at his head. Double. Look at his head. Oh, man. yeah. He's not feeling too good, man. Somebody what the hit. heck? What fish hit it? I, you know what? Yeah, they tried to eat your lure and got the head. <laughs> wow. Yeah, something got him good, man. But anyway, you guys, the other day I caught a bluefish when I was down at the marina. And uh, so I wanted to do a bluefish catch and cook. I don't think I've ever done one of those. And if I had, let's do another one because I got a recipe that I want to try. Anyhow, I got this one blue fish. I got him all cleaned up. I got me some diced tomatoes and chilies, some oregano, some badaya complete, some chopped onions, and some fresh chopped garlic. We're going to see if we can't get this bluefish tasted. Mmm, yummy delicious. Well, let's roll the catch part of this video, and then we'll be back and we'll be cooking it up and trying it. See how it tastes. Oh, good fish. Solid fish. It's a good one. We got a good fish. We got a good fish and we got two boats coming by right now. Feels like a jack or a blue. Doesn't feel like a ladyfish for sure. Unbelievable, you guys. I am hooked up and I got two boats coming by here. It's like a big, big blue fish. Big blue. Foul hooked. Foul hooked bluefish, is that what it is? We got him, baby. We got him. Hey, <laughs> hey. All right. Nice. Well, you guys, I think we're going to do a bluefish catch and cook. That's what we're going to do. Just go ahead and bleed this guy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that footage. Man, there's still a hot bite going on at the marina. There's just tons of bait coming in there. And uh, yeah, fun catching that bluefish. But let's get on with this little cooking episode we're doing here. All right, guys. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, two, three tablespoons of olive oil in there. We're going to add some onion. And we're going to add in the chopped garlic. I'm going to let that get heated up. And I'm going to cook that for a little while. And then we're going to get to the next step. All right, guys, we got a little bit of brown rice cooking on the stove too. Oh yeah, it's starting to sizzle up nice there. I'm just gonna let that cook for a little while there and kind of let that olive oil get all that garlic and onion flavor all up in it. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna add in some of these diced tomatoes with chilies. Nice spicy flavor there. All right, a little oregano in there for some extra flavor actually that's just an italian seasoning 
I got the Badaya complete going on here. Give it a good shot of that too. I'm gonna let that just, I'm gonna let that simmer and let that flavor get all up in those tomatoes right there. And uh, we, we don't have a lot of bluefish, guys. It's just one bluefish. So I think this is gonna be sufficient for what we're doing here. I might add in a little bit more of the tomatoes. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll add in a little more tomato. Give it a little bit more spice while we're at it. I was a little bit short on the onions. I probably should have had a whole onion. That was only about a half of an onion there. All right, we're gonna let that simmer here for a little while. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll drop our bluefish in the mixture and cook our fish. Woo, that smells like some Italian goodness right there. Our tomato mixture has been simmering for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some bluefish in there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put it all in there. All right, we're gonna uh, let that bluefish get heated up good here and cook for probably 10 or 15 minutes and then We'll be ready to eat. Yeah, guys, I took the bluefish and I cut it up into small pieces. And the idea is to serve it over the brown rice. Now, I watched a video online on YouTube. A guy was saying that this is the way to cook really fishy tasting fish. And so it won't take, taste very fishy, okay? So I'm going to find out. I've modified the recipe a little bit. I just didn't want to run out to the store and buy, like, more onions. I mean, I think that's it. I just don't have as many onions in there as what he used. But, you know, we're going to serve this over some rice. And I think it's going to be good. I honestly do. It's cooking good right there. All right. The rice is done. Let's start serving it up. Oh, yeah. This right here, you guys. This looks so freaking yummy. Delicious. Looks so good. Freshly made iced tea here. My kids gave me this cup for Father's Day. It's got a marlin on it. You guys don't know, that's one of my heart's desires is to go marlin fishing someday and uh, catch a big old marlin. Maybe we'll be able to make that happen. Bucket list. All right, guys. So, this is gonna be the moment of truth. Looks absolutely delicious. It smells absolutely delicious. And I'm going straight up for the bluefish right here. First off, smells delicious. We're gonna see what it tastes like, you guys. Oh yeah. Wow. You guys, I salted the bluefish and I, I just set it in the refrigerator for about a half hour before I cooked it. This fish is really nice and firm. All right, guys, I'm bringing it nice and close here. This bluefish has lost like all of its strong fishy flavor. It has definitely taken on the flavors of what an Italian dish would be. And those spicy chilies that are in with that, those tomatoes, you guys, this is a really, really good dish. Mmm. I am, this is not a put on act. I would cook this, I, I, there's no doubt in my mind I would cook this again. It's really good with the rice. Listen you guys, thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up or appreciated. Get out there and go fishing man. Life is fun. Live it. See